Okay, so we're back with our uh, fan page, or our Facebook page, and uh, here it is uh, with uh, basic information. So you can see on the side here, basic information, the third one down from the top. So this is where you fill in all of your, you guessed it, basic information about your company or brand. So I've uh, gone ahead just to save some time, and I've created or uh, filled in all of this information um, over here on another tab. And I'll just uh, go through and uh, make sure that you understand everything. So this is what we chose at the very beginning uh, when we had uh, the six categories to choose from. So I, I chose companies and organizations and health and beauty, if you remember. Um, official page here. Okay, this is a little confusing. It says, if this is a fan page, please enter the official page here. This will be shown on your page as community page about blah, blah, blah. And it will help the official page see your updates. Okay, so it, it's a little confusing because you think like, well, this is a fan page. This, this is my fan page. Okay, well, what they're trying to say is if this is a page um, that is dedicated to, uh, let's say, a, a brand or a personality or somebody. Let's say uh, uh, Justin Bieber. So this is a Justin Bieber fan page, okay, is the reason that you, you're creating this page. Then you would search here for Justin Bieber, for example, and uh, you would choose the the official Justin Bieber page and what that does is uh, it sets up um, it sets it up so that your posts on your fan page on your Justin Bieber fan page will actually show up on the on the official Justin Bieber page so if it's not a if this is just a, a company or an organization like like this uh, this example is then just leave that area blank uh, the username okay um, I'll go into this uh, in a little more detail in another video but uh, basically, you can choose a vanity URL. So it would be facebook.com backslash uh, instantly fall asleep. Okay? Uh, there's limitations to this. You need at least 25 fans before you can go ahead and choose a username. Okay? The name, uh, you want to make sure it's exactly the same as you, you, uh, your website, your company. Okay? So instantly fall asleep. Founded 2011. Uh, address. Uh, if you don't have an address, if it's just a website, obviously you don't put anything in here. And uh, there are some issues with go with uh, uh, places, with uh, I was going to say Google Places, um, with uh, Facebook Places. So um, one of the problems is that if you merge, um, if you create a, a place and, and uh, you merge your page into a, into Facebook Places, then you lose the ability to create what is called a reveal gate. Okay, and uh, I'll, I'll show you some examples of this um, a little later on. But basically, it means that if somebody is not a fan of your page or does not like your page, um, they come to your page and they will see an image that blocks the, the content, right? And then they have to like the page in order to remove the image and, and be able to get into your page. So the reason that you do that is it converts... Uh, people to, to likes or people to fans a lot quicker, uh, a lot easier because they, they can't really see anything and they have uh, maybe um, they have an incentive uh, that's built into your into your image that allows them to uh, uh, that they're able to get when they when they click the like page or the like on top of the page. So um, just leave this blank, okay? For for us, uh, there is no it's a website, right? So there is no address, no physical address. Okay, and then moving down, um, you want to make this as descriptive as possible. Okay, this is the, the, the information that people will see when they click the info tab on your page. Okay, so let's see if uh, we'll go over and I'll show you what the... Uh, here's the info tab here, okay? So when people click on that info tab right here, this is the information that you're setting up here, okay? So uh, I put uh, learn what you need to know to instantly fall asleep each night. Uh, sleeping tips, tricks, and solutions to achieve quality sleep. Okay, so that's basically pretty much a headline from my my website. And then in the description, um, you, you again want to be very descriptive and put your put some keywords in there and make sure that you have your uh, your page name. This page instantly fall asleep uh, is the official page, a uh, Facebook page for. And then any URL or any website address that you put in here, as long as you put in HTTP, okay, in the front with a colon backslash backslash, then you will uh, this this will become uh, clickable when when people uh, see it when they when they click on information or info from the other tab that I showed you, 
and uh, they will be able to click on that link and, and go directly to the website. So you can put these links in anywhere that you want. Okay, uh, and then the a mission and minus uh, to help as many people as possible find that elusive creature called sleep, and then awards. So maybe you have a top ten websites in a certain category, uh, or number one for this or that, or you know whatever any any type of awards that you have. For example, I have a, a bartending page, and uh, I have the number one bartending newsletter on the internet. So that's what I put in in the awards section. And then products, uh, we sell a product on the website called, um, uh, it's an ebook called uh, Get Sleep Now, 39 Ways to Guarantee Your Z's. So I just put the ebook name there, and then I put the URL again, starting with HTTP, so that it is clickable when someone sees it, and it'll go right to that uh, sales page for that book. And then uh, your email, phone number, uh, I wouldn't suggest unless you, you have a physical address, you're, you're talking about a local business. Um, and then, or sorry, I, I guess anything basically, uh, if you're selling a product or service or you have an office, okay, if you, as long as you're not a home office, um, if you work from home and you're, you, you have a, you know, this is just a, a website, if you're an internet marketer, for example, you, you likely don't want to put a phone number there. And then you can just, you can just put uh, no phone. Okay, and then uh, down to website. Uh, with website, you can put uh, as many as you want, and you just have to leave one space, and then so you can start typing uh, another one. Um, let's say that you have a Twitter account, or you have a uh, YouTube account, okay, or any other social media. Um, you can enter that uh, website here. So you just leave a space, and then start again HTTP, leave a space, and another one, and it shows up uh, one on top of the other one. Um, when you when you when somebody clicks into the info section, okay. And when you're done here, then uh, this is when this is all filled out. You just want to save changes, and then that's it. And I'll uh, see you in the next uh, video.